fans, Pickles and Bonds here again for another episode of Eagles TV. This thing is getting bigger and better every single week. Last week's show, Bonds with a Cracker. This one is another one. Certainly is. Uh, on tonight's show, we've got highlights from the great win over the dogs. We'll have a chat to Jake Wiedemann. And we've had the Gaffneys in time on this yes. week. We've got the Hayes brothers. Well, we'll find out uh, who is going to be the winner out of that one. Now, as you said, this week, get to the game. Morn Team Oval. Morn Team Kia Oval, in fact. Um, bring your radio, 88.3, Pickles and Bonds, that's us. We're going to call the game for you. The calls this year, mate, what do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, we're going all right. Yeah, we're, we're going better than all right. Um, bring your radio, 88.3. If you can't bring your radio, if you can't get to the ground, download the Pickles and Bonds app. You'll be able to tune in that way. And uh, that works for everyone as well. Bonds, we've been getting plenty of hits uh, during the day. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, it's very easy to have a listen, tune in this Saturday as we take on the Bloods. Yes, going uh, three in a row, going for four on the bounce. That's it. All right, let's have a look at those highlights, thanks to Morn Care. Rover Football Club, who have an interesting... Oh! oh! Big fly over the top by Thompson. He had some real springboard style about him then. Couldn't take the mark. Hall went back to Gaffney, who got it back oh. inside 50, and a great mark taken by Nick Hayes. Redden gets another tap down here, and Boyd escapes. Got a little kick away, got a little bit of tension afterwards, so advantage taken now, and here they go again. The Eagles, Jack Hayes oh. this time at the back. Used his body well. Let's see what Jack Hayes has got when he's directly in front. And he's got one, and the Eagles have got three. Petrenko picks up the crumbs scurries off, kicks towards half forward, big oh, fly great there, mark. great mark taken by Nick Moore, kick was a shocker though, a real grubby worm burner, Jack Hayes picked it up to Paul, Paul over the top to come to Gianni, and he fires a shot, the Jackson Neagle on the mark, oh. kick into open space where Matthew Goldsworthy standing under tender can hand it off to Jordan Foot. he's normally sure by foot, oh is he sure by foot? Hayes now squares it to the flank where he's got a runner here in Hall. Hall can pop it over the top here and they'll run into an open goal and go bang. Sat upon them by Nick Moore who plays on quickly from the free kick to Goldsworthy. Takes a bounce, balances himself up, kicks a real good one and finds Gilhouse. Seb Gilhouse, the stutter, the approach, it looks awkward. It seems awkward. It's not awkward. It is scintillating from Big Seb. And he just turned, put the afterburners on. He's got Hoskin back there, who's Great a mark. real strong mark. But an even better mark over the top was Von Berto. Menzel, the only multiple, as it's paddled away from the 50. Petrenko picks it up. Got through a couple of dogs defenders there. Wheels around, goes back to Hall. Hall off a step, sends it to the top of the goal square, where Gilhouse nearly couldn't take oh. them up. Charging through, Jake Comet to Gianni. The Comet has arrived. Oh, he's not had a lot of possessions. That one's not bad, but there's Bomberto. Third big mark of the quarter for Jake Bomberto. Ferns has got a touch here, though, but his kick smothered desperate times here by the Dogs' defence. Hey. Sweeping on it, Jack Hayes. Jack Hayes around the body. Oh, Hayes has come from nowhere. Ball kicked forward. Madden's there for the Dogs, spinning out of trouble. One of the best on the ground. Jack Hayes got it to Sharrod. Sharrod got it to Ferns. Ferns releases more. Moore can deliver more. He lines up and tell me some more. The kid from Karamolka, the CMS Crows, one of Bernie Vince's mates down there. Gives it to the Centurion in Jake Johansson from 51. Can he ice what has been a magnificent day? Can he ice it? Oh, he'll ice it and put sprinkles all over it in a few cans. Uh, play interview time, and uh, this week we've got Jake Wiedemann. Weed, welcome to uh, Eagles TV. Thank you. Now, uh, where'd you grow up playing your footy, Jake? Um, played just down the road here at Woody South um, ever since I was a youngster. Dad coached for most years before I got out here. And so how young was that? Um, I was kick even when I was yeah, five right. or six, started there, and then yeah, went through the grades. So uh, never dabbled in any other sports? Uh, yeah, played footy and cricket all my life as well, so yeah. Now you said uh, your dad coached down there, obviously your dad Wayne Wiedemann, um, Eagles hero, uh, Crows cult hero. How much influence has he had on, on your career? Um, a fair bit. He's always, he's always been at my games, always been fairly involved. He's coached a lot of my career, so yeah, he's always been there for advice after the game and whatnot, so yeah, it's been good. Um, is there any other times when you'd say, just let me be Jake Wiedemann, I don't want to be Wayne's son anymore? 
Um, a fair bit. Last couple of years when footy started to get a bit serious, I got compared a lot, so that started to evolve into I don't want to be Wayne Wiedemann's son anymore and I'll be my own person sort of thing. Is there anything you can do about that? Um, not really. <laughs> we do play a different brand of footy, so just try and play my own type of footy and do that, but yeah. yeah less king hits, less, uh, yeah. Yeah, less behind the play less stuff. Less suspensions, yeah. yeah. Um, so you mainly play up forward as a forward, now that's, uh, obviously that's as you say, different to what your dad did. Is yeah. that uh, where you want to be long term? Um, I want to try get into the midfield, but right now in the league side there's a lot of ex-AFL boys, so it's hard to crack into there, but yeah, doing my time up forward and see how I go and then slowly work my way through the midfield. And so who's helping you learn your craft up forward? Um, Wunks has been a fair influence since I've been in the senior program. Um, a few of the, the Hayes boys as well, seeing as they're young, they're really easy to talk to and whatnot about structures and everything, how to go about it. Yep. And, uh, and so the shoulder, the injury, how's that coming along? Um, it's going all right. So going into the second week, um, do a bit of running and whatnot this week, see if I can do a bit of ball work. But uh, no schedule on return yet, just seeing how I go with getting it better naturally and whatnot like that. So just getting my strength back, bit of movement. So yeah. And who gives you the nod that you're right to go? Is that you, the doctor, or the coach, or is it all three? Um, yeah, pretty much all three, you got to agree. Um, physio has a fair bit to do with it, but once I get back into bowl work and whatnot, if I can put up with the pain and wear it, then that goes on me a little bit, so yeah. Well, so the better. Thanks, That's Jake. It. Thank you. Now, thanks to St. Clair Dental, it's time on. We're here for another round of Quick Draw, it's time on. We got the Hayes boys here, we got Jack, and Nick. And uh, now, first question time. Name something in the bedroom. Careful. <laughs> that starts with C. Cups. Cups. <laughs> Can we accept uh, cups? Surely. No, surely. Oh, covered. No. Covered. Uh, I, think, I think, no, we'll, we'll give him cups. We'll He's give giving him cups. Yeah. What? We'll give him Are cups. you serious? <laughs> He's got cups in there. What did you say? <laughs> covered. All right, we'll, we'll, call it, we'll call that a draw. Oh, yeah. that a <laughs> so that's nil all. All right. Uh, name something in the locker room that starts with B. Boots. Boots. Oh. Too easy. Too Man. easy. That was that quick. One. That was quick. All right. Name a sporting mascot that starts with a G. Gold Coast. Giant. Gold. Oh, it's not a mascot. Yeah. That's a giant mascot. A giant is a mascot. I'll give you that, Nick. Yes. Good work. So oh, Nick's on two. <laughs> Jack's on a very dodgy I'll give half. I'll give him one. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him the cup. Yeah, I'll give him the cup. Now that I'm in front, it's two one. Best of five. So you just need one to win, Nick. Yeah, let's finish it. All right. Name a sport. An Olympic sport starts with the letter G. Golf. Golf is correct. It was in the last Olympics. Yes. So there's your winner. Nick Hayes is your winner. Another round of quick draw done and dusted. Thanks, boys. We'll see you next time. Oh, All right, what have we learned out about the Jacks, mate, playing in time on? Well, they're no good. No. Uh, Nick, too good for Jack this week in quick draw. But, uh, Pickles, before we go, there's still a chance for Eagles fans to win a fantastic prize. Thanks to our friends at Billy's. Yeah, the easiest competition going around. All you've got to do is be at the ground, more than 10 care oval this week, as we take on the Bloods, and buy any of the fantastic Billy's products from one of the canteens around the place. And then fill in the entry form, you go into the draw for the table for 10 for the President's Lunch, Match Day Lunch, uh, on July 28th, a couple of weeks' time. Yep. You and nine friends, easy as that. It is easy as that. So get along to Mornteen Care Oval this Saturday as we take on the Bloods. The reserves a little bit earlier, 10.30, and the league at 10 past 1. So can't wait for it, it's going to be great. Might not be calling in the darkness this week. No, we won't. And the Eagles looking for four wins in a row. So uh, when you do come to the ground, make sure you've got your radio with you, 88.3 FM. If you can't be at the ground for whatever reason that is, download the uh, Pickles and Bonds app, and then you'll be able to hook in that way. Had plenty of listeners, as we said at the top of the show. If you are at the ground, head up to the top afterwards and have a uh, beer, a meal, and catch up with some of the players at the end of the game. And make sure you stay in touch with all of their social outlets, Facebook, Twitter. They've got plenty going on at the moment. Absolutely. Well, there you go. Another episode of Eagles TV done and dusted. We'll see you next time.